Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're gonna do the debt free future tag. I know it's an old tag, but it's new to us, so we're gonna start off by asking, I think it's six questions, and I'll let my husband answer this time. You ready? Sure. Okay, the first question is When did we start our debt free journey? Uh, late June uh, or mid June, about June 20th, if you want to give a date. Uh, that's been going very well so far. I think it was July. We were coming home from vacation. So we thought about it in June, the end of June, but we officially started July 4th. Okay. Okay. How long do you think it will take to become debt free? If we were to continue this pace, uh, including our mortgage, four years. I think four years we could do it. And that's $149,000 paid off in four years. That's house, um, uh, car notes, credit cards, everything paid off. Four years? Four uh -huh. years. Four How years? How fast do you think you're going to pay off $149,000? I don't know. I don't that's know. not I didn't really an thinking. answer. Four. That's a, what we were thinking, more or less? Less. Less than four years. Mm-hmm. I, I, I do. Okay, we agree to disagree. One hundred forty-nine thousand. No, it's okay. If you if you are comfortable doing so, briefly share what your current debt consists of. Right now, pretty much the only thing we have left is a uh, my truck payment. It's about ten thousand dollars, and my mortgage. Uh, we have about a uh, eight hundred dollar small loan. Pretty much done. So. You know, yeah, so we only much. have three. That's a mortgage, a, a truck note, and a small loan that should be done by the end of the month. Right. Or of September, I'm sorry. Yeah, end of September it'll be done, so we'll be moving on to something else. Yay. Okay, do you plan to celebrate, or what do you plan to celebrate or reward yourself once you're debt free? What do you plan on doing? What do we plan on doing? Or? We we plan probably on going to somewhere like Vegas, New York. That would probably be a big plan. My wife wants to go to Disney. To Disney cruise. Disney cruise. Take our son to the Disney cruise. But if we wait four years, he's probably going to outgrow the Disney cruise. He, he's not going to want to go to the Disney cruise. So we need to finish in two years. Yeah. Me personally, I'm going to probably party really hard with my friends. Me too. <laughs> we in our hometown of Miami. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm leaving the wife and kids home. Okay. Out of here. Me too. Okay. <laughs> okay. What lessons will you pass along to your children regarding uh, money? Uh, the best way to do that is just have him, uh, our son, follow us as we go through this because it's the easiest way to learn. Yeah. We always tell him to save a part of his allowance anyway, so. He personally goes to the bank and deposits his deposits money. His money. So mm -hmm. and he I already just, knows. Yeah, I just stand at the the counter. He knows that he has whatever we give him for allowance. His allowance is ten bucks. So, um, ten five of that has to go to the bank, and five dollars he he, he can spend, spend if he wants or save it. It's up to him, but five dollars has to go in the bank. So he he's already on the saving plan. So yeah. he he knows already. And I think he actually likes going to the bank and putting in his money. And then get his receipt and look at it. Right, money. exactly. Like, and so. and sometimes say he's short. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my wife always owes him money. I always owe him something. Thing in the world, you know? Don't work nowhere at all. Wife owes him money all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, "What does your debt-free future look like? How would this change once you're debt-free?" Uh, debt-free future looks amazing. amazing. I mean, one of the things. <laughs> that I would see unless, you know, they say knock on wood, unless someone were to get sick, I could probably put away a couple hundred thousand just in right. the 401k in a few years, which is scary. I'm talking about 20% in a 401k or a Roth IRA or something like that. Yeah, because so, it's, it's scary just thinking about, like, today we're thinking about we have so much money. Where, where are we going to put this? Are we going to pay off the loan? Are we going to pay off a car note? So it's just trying to find where you're going to put the money at, how much you want to save for that month, and 
what, what's our next goal after we pay off this house? So it's, we're not decided. We haven't decided, but. I mean, as a couple, you know, hate to get personal, but as a couple, we only make about a $65,000 a year. But, and, but it seems like more because our, seems way more. our spending it's, habits and yeah. we're not flamboyant and we just yeah, simple. Guys, we're cheap. So, <laughs> you know, it's, it's crazy. We live in a, a, a area where the cost of living is low. Mm -hmm. uh, so even though we have a big home, it, it just, we have all this extra money, it seems, mm -hmm. once you start dedicating your money to, uh, Bills and bills paying and, off debt. You know, right. Anything else you need to add? Because those were all the questions. That was it? Mm hmm. Does that was a short. Yeah, because that's the one I saw. So that's the one we that did. I took too much energy. <laughs> so if you can do it all over again and you and you heard of Dan, Dave Ramsey when you were what, 18, what do you think? How do you think you would be? What do you, what do you think you would be now if you had to do it all over again? A millionaire. Yeah, I, I think I would be a millionaire too if I knew what I knew. If you start a Dave Ramsey program when you were 19 or 20, by the time you're 40, you'll be a millionaire. I know that sounds funny. It, it's, it's, you'll be a millionaire because I was in a situation where I really didn't have to move out of my home. Uh, you know, but things happen for a reason. If I was listening to Dave Ramsey when I was 17, 18, I wouldn't be married probably. I wouldn't. A lot, a lot would change. We would definitely so be living in Georgia. We right. would still be living in Miami. Right. So a yeah. lot would change. We may not have a child because yeah. we didn't have a child until we moved okay. here, quite an area. So I don't want to say you can never do that because the change would be too drastic uh, to really compare if you started his program at an early age, you know. Right. So, well, I am glad that we did, we are starting this journey and that we're almost not almost but we're trying to finish this within four years according to the hubby we're not married i don't know you two years <laughs> you pay up because we're gonna eat beans and rice ramen I noodles rice. I, don't I don't eat ramen noodles either but still well that means you can't get no clean fresh water oh, quick <laughs> story guys i went to the bank i've been paying uh this, uh, we can do that for another video. Small loan. What, that's, you think they don't want to hear the story? Yeah, let's do it on another video. Another video? Yeah. That means I got to do this again? Yeah. Thank you. Anything else? <laughs> Anything else? All right. Well, that's our debt-free future tag. And please subscribe to our channel. Like, subscribe, comment. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.